I just wanted to share something incredibly cute with you all. This is Scylla, who's latched on now, to a teat of her very own, without pushing any of her brothers or potentially sister away. And she's doing the, she was doing the ear thing, where her ears tremble as she's purring and feeding at the same time. And of course now she's lost the teat again. Here it is, you silly bugger. Silly little girl. <laughs> unfortunately, Hibis has got quite a few mats, unfortunately, because her belly was incredibly sensitive, so she wouldn't let me do anything to it. So I'm just trying to move the fur away. Good grief, she actually has a golden hue. Very pretty girl. Let's see if we can move the fur a little bit and I can show you the ears. She's doing the excited ear tremble, or at least she was doing it earlier. Of the four kittens, she's actually the only one that's done the trembly fur thing. A uh, trembly ears thing. I'm not sure she's going to do it again. Dear me, that video really doesn't do her colour any justice. There's our little cracker. And here's the brothers. Here we have Cthulhu. And here we have little Leviathan. He was the first pie out and actually the very first pie I ever birthed. Silla being a drama queen. As per usual. Started being a drama queen basically from the moment she came out. Her beautiful little tail. And then here we have Abyss, very content at her little pies. And before we go, we have Millie up here who is surveying the pies from above, which is clo as close as she dares to come. Whereas Susie and Oscar have actually sat here and kept guard. They're all being very respectful and very good about it, to be honest. But we're not letting them all around each other without supervision just yet. But so far, so good. Say bye-bye, pies. Have a good lunch, everyone. <laughs>